Welcome back and we're watching out for your family tonight. When kids get sick with the flu, oftentimes they get prescribed Tamiflu. But some parents say they will never use it again. New size Colette Bordelon in studio tonight with more on the debate over this medicine. Colette. It's a popular medicine because it's supposed to shorten the length of the flu. But we asked parents on Facebook to share their personal experiences with Tamiflu. Some say it helped their kids tremendously, while others tell horror stories of hallucinations. What can start as just a cough can turn deadly. The best recommendation I have is get the flu shot. It's why doctors tell us to be proactive. And why Dr. Brendan Browning says to do our research if we do end up with the flu. The data we have nowadays today would indicate that it's maybe not as effective as it once touted to be. He's talking about the FDA approved drug Tamiflu, which has some side effects you might expect. Nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. And others you might not. Renal failure, seizures, acute psychosis. Laying on the couch and started screaming, crying, yelling in fear that she was actually up in the air on the couch. Jennifer Humany says one of her daughters gets the flu almost every year and they typically use Tamiflu. But last year she had severe hallucinations. They really have no idea what's going on and there's really no way to to help them come down from that. You just have to stop the medication and let that wear off. Still, after talking to their doctor, when her daughter got the flu this year, they tried Tamiflu again. Her flu symptoms were resolved in about 48 hours. But those psychiatric side effects. One of the reasons I typically wouldn't recommend it for use in my own kids. Could potentially be avoided with the flu shot. By vaccinating my child against the flu, I am protecting those children in the community who do have those underlying health conditions. Dr. Browning says if your kid does get the flu, you need to work with your pediatrician to find the best plan. For parents who don't use Tamiflu, he says it's important to get kids enough fluids and their fever managed. Doctors can also prescribe anti-nausea or vomiting medicine if that's also an issue. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Colette Bordelon, News 5.